Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how I covered my pillows. These are my pillows. They, um, I did not choose them. They came with the sofas that we bought. And I think they are ugly. Um, I was not here when my husband bought them. We weren't married yet. And, I mean, I don't even think he likes them, but hey, you know, what are you going to do when you're a single guy? So I'm going to cover these um, with these fabrics. I'm kind of mixing patterns. I got this um, today at Joann's Fabric Store. Um, if you go today, or I think around this time, they're having like this 50% uh, off the red red tag fabrics so I got this for really inexpensive um, or really cheap and then this is just like a white I believe it's canvas but it's it's not treated so you know it's still still malleable it's it's softer than you know canvas on a frame or whatever um, and I got this I'm trying to pattern mix I think this looks okay together this um, color looks more yellow on the video than what it really is. It's more like a green. Um, and I had this before and I think they'll I think they'll look good together. Um, so I will show you how I make my pillows. Since I really like this fabric and making a whole pillowcase would take a lot more of it, uh, I'm going to use the back of the already existing pillow and just use this this fabric as the front of it. So kind of how this is here, I'm going to do it but with this fabric. So I'm just going to take my seam ripper and start unraveling the thread right there. Uh, because I want to save this for maybe a skirt or something like that. Before you cut anything, you have to measure your already existing pillow. This one is 19 by 19. So I'm going to cut this fabric into uh, 20 by 20 just to add an inch for seam allowance. I can cut in a straight line to save my life. Um, and I don't have a rotary cutter. So what I did was take some painter's tape, which is not really sticky. Well, this one isn't. I think it's because it's cheap. But that's okay because I don't really want it to stick too much to the fabric. So what I did was measure off. Um, and I'm also missing my ruler. I don't know where that is. So I just used this uh, tape measure. And I measured out 20 inches. And then put my little 90 degree angle here. What is this called? I don't know. It's like a, maybe it says on here. I think it's called a square. I don't know. You construction people would know. Um, so I just put the tape along the 20 inch mark there. Well, it's 20 inches. And then did the same on the other side. So now I'm just gonna cut in the interior part of this and it'll be easier because you can just follow the tape line. So as you can see as you start seam ripping um, you'll start seeing some stuffing and it, what I'm going to do is just put it in a regular plastic bag and each um, each pillow stuffing will get its own separate bag so you know how much goes in each pillow. have your separate um, piece of fabric here that you took off the pillow and we're going to put uh, the other piece of fabric right sides together and they match up. So now you have this so this is going to be the front and this will be the back but this is pretty thin it's a pretty thin fabric so I think I'm going to add the other piece just to make it sturdier, what would be more ideal would be adding interface to this to make it heavy. Um, it's like a, a fabric that fuses on or glues on to this part and just makes it heavier. But um, since I have interface, but it's for another project, I'm just going to do this. So you will not see this. It'll just be 
uh, kind of making this fabric sturdier. And so after you do that, you're just going to pin around, pin around this, and then you're going to sew. But remember to leave a hole for your stuffing. I decided not to add the third fabric because it would just be too, too bulky. Um, so I just pinned both fabrics right sides together. And here's my opening that I left for the stuffing. And now I'm just going to sew around starting from here. Go around, around, around each corner. And then stop around here. So then I have this much to fill in my pillow. Now we're just going to clip the corners like that and trim the seam allowance. And then we're going to flip it over. Now you have your um, little stuffing hole and you're just going to put back the stuffing and you can machine um, sew it. But I'm just going to hand stitch it. So when you hand stitch it, you just want to fold over um, that edge right there and this one too. And then just sew it right here. Whoa, that was blurry. Sorry. 